First to NYSD. LRPs are analogous to taking the controls of a plane off autopilot during turbulence. I want to highlight a few specifics. First, on May 6th, during the 2.40 to 3 o'clock period, market share on the NYSE was five percentage points higher than usual during that time of day, and the participation rate of our designated market makers, which were formerly called the specialists, and supplemental liquidity providers was equally strong. This is evidence that our liquidity providers did not walk away from the market as we actively traded during the downturn. Furthermore, to demonstrate that LRP, LRP's protected orders in our market, stocks listed on other markets had price declines and erroneous executions far greater than NYC listed stocks. Lastly, the overall marketplace needed to cancel approximately 15,000 executions after Thursday's decline. On NYSE, even though we handled the largest share of orders in the marketplace, we had to cancel zero trades. In fact, 85% of the trades that ultimately were canceled were securities that were not even listed on the New York Stock Exchange. The bottom line is while that there's always room to improve, LRPs actually worked reasonably well on May 6th, and the response from issuers and investors has been unique, uniformly positive. However, the mechanism is only truly effective if observed by other trading venues, and that's why we applaud Chairman Shapiro's leadership in helping create an industry-wide trading service.